today I want to break down my watch list, everything I'm buying, swinging, and holding going into next week. First, if you don't mind smashing that like button, click and subscribe if you haven't. Also, turning on those post notifications, I'd greatly appreciate it. Now, starting with Vistagen, ticker VTGN, this looks like an absolute monster that's coiled and ready for round two. Now, back in August, we saw the stock surge from 150 all the way to 60. This was a monster move, almost a billion dollars in liquidity traded absolute insanity now could this be institutions and smart money accumulating and basically soaking up all of the supply turning sellers to buyers in hopes to jam it up and get back to these upper ranges in the teens possible low 20s again i don't know i'm just raising the question there the one thing i really like is that it's stabilizing the range is super tight and again it does look like it wants to take off i don't know how long it's going to take maybe a few more weeks few more months but what i'm seeing on td america trade is three consecutive quarterly growths for earnings per share minus 94 to minus 66 to minus 22 that's three quarters of consistent growth we also saw a reverse split about nine months ago which is great because that's way in the past it's not going to have any effect but the cap structure now is very tight they also have a hundred million dollars cash on the books they could be extremely strategic with that that's 60 months six zero or five years worth of cash so for the street, for analysts, for anyone that's writing reports on this company, a lot of times in the biotech sector, they knock companies for having, again, a lot of debt and not a lot of cash flow. They have a mass amount of capital. They could do endless amounts of things with this money. So definitely keep it on watch. This could be a smart money play, a sleeper that not many people are focusing on. But I think, again, we're seeing sort of this inverted head and shoulder setup. And then more recently, we're seeing this sort of micro cup and maybe possible cup and handle playing out on the daily. OK, but really, when you zoom out, you're focused on this pink line, this 590 level, the next being somewhere at seven dollars and that big target right at like 840. OK, I really don't think it's going to take a lot if we just get a few points up and start to break out. We're really going to pretty much trade up in no man's land where there's not a lot of resistance. There's nothing that's going to hold it back from being able to really explode and get that acceleration. Remember, almost a billion dollars was traded back in this area here. So it's very possible that smart money is soaking everything up at two, three, four, five, and they blast it up three to five X. So that's my thought process there. But again, we're going to stay on top of it over the next few months. Keep it on your radar. Now I want to rifle three quick tickers that I bought last week. The first one is Viri, Virios. Everyone knows we called this out last year at 35 cents, went all the way up to 250. This was the biggest winner of 2023. We had an incredible exit strategy as well, and I'm looking to do the same exact thing a year later. Now, ultimately, we saw a support and resistance flip. That is going to be your rectangle here, or again, our supply zone. Now, initially, what we saw was support, right? It bounced, it bounced, it bounced, and then now it started using it as resistance. So it's no longer bouncing and using it as a floor. It's now rejecting on the bottom, using it as resistance. So this is going to be my price target here of where I want the stock to trade back up to. And whether or not it breaks out or rejects is a separate question. We just wanted to retest the range like we saw here and here and here and here. And that's pretty much my expectations, again, is for it to trickle back and test this range. Could it get rejected? Sure. But buying at 42 cents or anything below is going to get us a very conservative target of a minimum 80% upside. If we get to the top end of that range, 80, 45 cents, we're at our double up or 100% plus. So that's why I tell people, be stingy about your valuations. Don't chase. Don't buy it up at 58, 59, 60 cents, because then your return is only going to be 30 to 40% at most. Okay, be stingy. Wait for your price. If they want to sell it to you cheaper, take it from them. And that's exactly what I'm doing with my bids. I'm being patient. I'm looking to increase my size in Viri. So that's, again, my thought process there. Very conservative, very realistic in my approach, um, and right to that 200 on the daily. Now, if Viri does snap and it gets to its real value, which I believe it definitely can this time around, you know, what if it gets to a dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars, or what if it gets back to where it was a year ago? Okay, that could be four or 500% upside or more. 
So definitely take that in mind as we're looking at our risk to reward, our upside to downside potential. The next is GTII. I know many people might be questioning why I would buy the stock after telling people it's such a waste of time, but I think ultimately it's just a matter of the sentiment, taking a gamble, having fun, um, and really playing with small money. I have no real logical answer as to why I'm buying it, just simply because I saw it's at a three-year low at 18 cents. I figured anyone that's been holding it from at least a $2 average or above, no one's going to sell it here. There's a really stable floor. There's a lot of strong shareholders that if anything, they're buying more, they're not selling. So I like that aspect of it. And like I said, I just believe it's hit a point where it's just so low that someone's going to come in and start to bid massive size. So that's pretty much where I'm at. I'm taking a gamble, playing with small money. It's a starter size. If it goes lower, great. But I'm pretty much up 30, 35% from my buy. I'm very comfortable here. Um, and like I said, I'm just having fun in the OTC. What I would like to happen is to put something real into the business. I've said this a hundred times, whether it's getting a new management or getting a new CEO or whatever they need to do to put something real here and make it a legit legitimate business with a real fundamental book value, then I think you'll have something big. And for me, the upside to downside, you know, potential is so much greater. Okay, me buying it at 18 cents, how much downside does it really have? Right. If I get to 40 cents, I'm already up 120 percent. I get to 50 percent. I'm up close to 170. It gets back to a dollar. I'm up 400 percent. Now, if this really starts to surge, we get to, you know, a dollar 60, dollar 82 bucks. I'm up almost a thousand percent of my money. So, I mean, what does it have to fall to? You know, I'm going to lose what, 30, 40 percent of my my money. It's going to go to a dime. I mean, maybe, but still, I much rather play this and have fun and uh, have a conservative thought process on it, right? For all the people that have been here for years and you have a two, three, four dollar average and you don't care about buying now, right? I understand that. I'm just trying to show people that I'm someone that hasn't been a shareholder. I'm now a new shareholder at 18 cents dollar cost average. So EDPT, Bioadaptives, I bought this stock because a member in our Discord called it out. He's been absolutely on fire in terms of OTC. So I'm deciding to ride the wave with him on this one. Again, small money, nothing that I can't afford to lose or if it go to zero. I just want to have fun. I want to get involved with some new stuff. This is another play that I bought at 0006. Now, if it goes from this price to where the high was in February, right, that was about a month or two ago, that'd be around 120, 130%. If we get back to the August, September high last year, that'd be around eight to 900% upside. Okay, so pretty much very minimal downside, a ton of upside here, one that I could just let play out, let it ride over the next few weeks and months with very little stress. Now I want to rifle through a few tickers that I think have great value and you should definitely keep on your radar for a potential dip buy. And the first one here is AMIX Autonomics Medical. We called this out not that long ago, been blasting it out at 270, anything below that. All we want to see is it stabilize, right? Maybe it does this, maybe it goes a little lower, maybe it pops a little bit, somewhere in that range. But you want to try and get your average right to where we called it out, 270 or below. I think from here, you'll have a very easy layup and a very easy return on investment. So again, if you're buying it at 270, I think very conservatively, you get 30%. Very, very, very conservative. I would say almost almost guaranteed, 99% guaranteed you get at least 30% on your money. Okay, still conservative, which is the high. Remember, if you saw the initial video, I called it out on March 13th. The next day, it ran about 40% all the way up to 410. That would be the conservative valuation, 52% up from that dip by at 270. So even from where it is right now, if you bought it at 280 all the way up, that's still almost 50% on a very, very conservative note. We just hit that not but two weeks ago. OK, and then the next target around 60, 65 percent and then my double up here, which is right at 570. OK, so imagine, right, the downtrend, right? It's just bouncing off of this range. The same thing like we saw with Viri, right? All we want to do is snap this downtrend, but we need the volume. We need liquidity. We need good news and possible data over the next few weeks. So just keep it on your radar. AMIX 270, 280. Anything cheaper, I think, will be a great value, a good hold and potential swing over the next few weeks to months. The next is Sidera, ticker CDTX. I just did a video on this, an educational one, showing you the potential breakout before it unfolded. Really, really solid updates here. No reason why you should not have taken advantage of this. My original call out was a few months ago, at like 76, 78 cents. It's up about maybe 50% pretty much from that point. Looks really great. I think we can definitely continue this uptrend here and the break of our 12-month downtrend. So again, this is from March 20th. Now we're breaking out 
of this again 12 month downtrend and now it looks really really good four consecutive green weeks here very very bullish price action one you should definitely keep on your radar going into earnings which again is about nine days out Okay, again, Sidera, ticker CDTX, super technical. We saw this. It was just waiting and waiting and waiting, just being patient and finding the right setups. That's why we always say, wait for your price, be patient, never chase. Two quick ones that have very similar entries. CRDL, we alerted at 98 cents. From the close, you should be up 94% to the high of the run, up 123%. This never went red from where we called it out, but I would be cautious just paying attention here at that $2 range. And the reason why, if we go on the four hour, you could see it's very hot when it trades above 203, 204. Okay, we're trying to break that 52 week high. And again, this is a multiple year high at this 220, 230 range. So just be cautious again. Keep it on your radar. It looks ready for round two. Their competition just got bought out. CRDL. And the next would be NRSN. Very similar stock here um, in terms of the setup, right? The entry, 98 cents all the way up to the top here. We saw about 139% where it closed on Friday of about 72%. But it's very, very hot over 213. So 213 all the way to 233 is a very hot area. We saw it broke out. Came all the way up, got smacked down. Same thing, round two, lower high, smacked all the way down. So definitely a supply zone, a range in which a lot of sellers are present trying to push it lower. Now, what I want to see is consistent higher lows. So far in this sequence, we're continuing to go higher and higher. Each step, even though it's small and gradual, we want to make sure that we really bounce off here and smash that top. If not, um, it's probably going to look something like this, like a lower high sequence where it sort of goes back up fades down, something like that, and it ends up crashing, okay? And then as you can see, the tops pretty much just keep getting lower and it spills. So we want to just be cautious that there could be multiple outcomes there for NRSN, but overall looks really, really good. Last but certainly not least is Chromadex, ticker CDXC. This was one of the biggest callouts we had about four and a half weeks ago from 161 all the way to the top at 465, up 189% within about five, six weeks. And where it closed, up 167%. This never went red from where we called it out. One of the easiest plays, and again, to perfection in terms of our alert. Our thought process, trading at one times revenues, no debt, 20, 30 million cash on the books 100 million into r d of their product tight cap structure all around a legitimate business and now smart money and real institutions seeing value and going long here without a question so could this be a five to six dollar stock very possible i do think it is going to surge and really show us its true colors over the next few weeks so that's been my breakdown i hope you guys appreciate it if you enjoy these videos if you're making money with us please let me know in the comments section below i'm trying my best to give you educational stuff show you good quality setups and again provide value as traders that is the goal here the members in the discord are doing absolutely incredible making real money turning their lives around if you want to be a part of a winning team we need you to be serious we need you to dedicate your time shoot me a message on twitter i cannot send links here on youtube but that is okay if you're interested let me know reach out and we'll try to get you in the group so thank you guys so much for watching have a fantastic night and as always we'll see you in the next one